Praise God and welcome once again to our studies through the Africa Study Bible. We've started with the story of the Bible and last time we made that introduction and uh, we spoke about how man fell but God through his own wisdom, his love, his mercy and his faithfulness unto his children, he came into the world and he saved mankind through Jesus' death and resurrection. Hallelujah. That is our hope in Christ Jesus. Today, we are going to continue with the story of the Bible. And the topic is, the heading is, God starts with Abraham. May God start with you. May God be your God. The living God and my God be your God. He started small with Abraham. Leave your family, leave your people, follow me, I will be family for you and I will make you into a nation with your very own land to rule. Through you, my blessing will reach the whole world. Abraham followed God. Abraham stumbled, but he still trusted God. Abraham and God kept his promise to Abraham. Abraham and Sarah were given a son called Isaac. From Isaac came a son named Jacob and also given the name Israel. From that son came a nation also called Israel. In time, there were thousands of Israelites, but they were not that impressive. They lived as forceful laborers in Egypt, and the government was trying to destroy them. God called Moses to lead them and told the people, and I quote, I will rescue you. Come to me, meet with me in the desert, walk with me. Be my people, live my way. Hallelujah. I will give you your own rich land and own garden. And through you, my blessing will reach the whole world. People of God, isn't it lovely? Hallelujah. God rescued them by opening up the sea. The towering cloud and fire of his presence merged with them. But the people still had Adam's sinful nature. Before long, they forgot the blessings. They complained. They complained. They disobeyed. They said, let's go back to Egypt. They said, let us make our own gods and worship them our own way. So God punished them. So it means that anyone worshiping any other God besides God is awaiting punishment. We should be careful. Hallelujah. So God punished them, but he did not leave them. In spite of what they did wrong, he took them through the desert and gave them their own land. They marched in, led by Joshua. They watched city walls fall down and conquered the communities. They renewed their promises. We will live as God's people, they said. We will show what he is like to the world. But it did not last long. This is human beings for you. It did not last long. Let us be, let us be like everybody else. It was the easier way to live. But they belonged to God. And he did not leave them. They were his. He punished them and he sent leaders to rescue them. Then they would turn from God and things will get worse again. This pattern repeated for many years. People of God, 
It is something that is still going on because we cannot rescue ourselves. We cannot serve God without the strength of God. We cannot say we are serving God through our works. No, we have no power of our own. People of God, we have no power of our own. The Bible says that he came to seek and to save that which are lost. And that anyone who comes to him should believe that he exists and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. People of God, I will, are we striving to know the Lord? God is love. And with his outstretched hands, he is beckoning unto us. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, laden, come and I will give you rest. People of God, God is ready to save you. If you have not accepted him as your Lord and personal savior, this is the time, this is the moment, especially in this evil days. The Bible says that, as for the men of Issachar, they understood the times. They understood the times. They saw that it was evil, so they had to stand for the Lord alone. Jesus is passing your way. This is the story of the Bible. We have a lot more to say. We'll continue, God willing, next time with the story of the Bible. But I just want you to know that God loves you. It does not matter the situation in which you are. People may condemn you. People may judge you because of, of your past life. But remember that God is God and that when we come to him, he forgives us of our sins and he cleanses us from all unrighteousness. He loves you. You are special to him. That is why Jesus had to come to die for you. And he needs you. He needs you. He wants to be your God. So he stands at the door of your heart knocking. If you only hear his voice and hearken unto him, he will come and sup with you and you with him. If you already know Jesus, you need to grow in him. You need to grow in him. God bless you so much. I will come your way next time with a continuation of the story of the Bible. God bless you. Have time for the word of God. Meditate on the word of God. Pray without season. Wherever you are, beckon unto the Lord and he will abundantly pardon. God bless you. Bye-bye.